All right, let's hit a couple. You got a nice golf swing. Thank you. Let's hit a few more, and I'll have you hit that hybrid. You played some good golf years ago. Uh, you got very head. fundamentally, the motion of your swing is very athletic. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Uh, a tip I read about what I read from Hogan and others is the flare. Yes. Especially the front foot. Yeah, especially the front foot. To, to make it easier to. Yeah, you know, you're exactly turn right. One guy I read, but he said to keep it per perpendicular so you have a strong, firm left side and you won't spin out as much. Well, you know, you have to custom fit fundamentals to people. Right. The, I start out with what I do know. What I do know is that the average pro at the point of impact, and we're not pros, and we're not going to be able to do what they do, but we want to get close to what we want to find out how close to we, our body right. will let us do. The average pro will have 85 to 90 percent of their weight on this left foot at the right. moment of impact. Right. That means a lot of a lot of weight is going this way. The reason that Hogan liked the flare. He wanted all that pressure that's going into this, into this ankle to, to be absorbed by the front of the ankle as opposed to the side of the ankle. Oh. The subconscious mind doesn't, it resists. It doesn't like going into the side. It, it almost wants to pull back and get ready to sprain your ankle. Right. So it, it, it can almost re, try to prevent you from doing a good fundamentally sound move, moving strongly with your left side. But I would rather you flare it up. 95% of those flare the left, and I'll, I'll tend to go with the norm versus the exception. Okay, good, that answers my question. Because I do want a good move, a, a, as good as we can make to the left side. Right. In my approach with, with with Chris, I was kind of building the swing. Yeah. I'm not building the swing. I'm trying to tweak the good swing. Oh, it's okay. You have a, <laughs> so it's, it's a whole new, different approach for a teacher when you're working with a player with your fundamentals. You have a solid foundation. Now, if you did miss a fairway with a good solid drive, would you more often miss it to the right or left? To our fifth right, six left, four right. More left, you miss more often left with the driver. Yeah. Okay. All right. Kind of. A, they're not hooks. They're pulls. They're all pulls. Okay. Yeah, you don't. I don't see much curve. They're all pretty straight. Just the starting line gets a little bit off. Yeah, so 
Said he, when he really wanted to hit a long drive, he had to soften his forearms because uh, he wanted them to be rubbery, uh, so they crack, like cracking a whip. So just turn and swish that club head. Ooh. That's your best drive. Yeah. That was solid. It had a little draw on it. <laughs> I don't want you to have power with effort. I want you to have effortless power. And I had, that was more effortless because you really, you let the, the, you cracked a whip. 